never taken a drug in my life. I've never tried cocaine in my life. I've never tried weed in my life ever. Wow. I drink a lot of coffee. I smoke wow. cigars, a bit yeah. of vodka, but I've never tried a narcotic in my life. Wow. So God has given me an endless source of power. And when people come to me and say, oh, this happened, I'm really sad, or my heart broke, or this bad thing happened to me, I say, good, good. That's Thank right. the Lord that he's given you this endless source of motivation. You're wasting it. Yeah. That's your problem. But it's been given to you. Nitrous oxide has been given to you. You just have to use it in the correct way. So I'm the luckiest man in the world because uh, all the bad things that happened to me have given me all the building blocks to become the most fantastic man on the face of the planet. Well, she's just tobacco. Yeah. Cigars are tobacco. Right. It's a plant. We basically kind of know what it is. Yeah. I don't smoke weed at all, but I kind of get it. It's a plant, whatever. Yeah. Right. The reason I don't touch any narcotics at all is because because firstly, I was a, a professional athlete and my blood was tested. Okay. I'm now 35 years old without ever having tried a drug ever. Is there any point in starting now? No. Like it's, I've lived my whole life without ever trying these things. Why start now? Also, when I look at some of the most degenerate, stupid, ridiculous people on the planet, they all, drug users. They're all, they all use drugs. It's, very, it's not very often I meet a man who's completely head to toe, has his life in order, and he likes drugs. I, a lot of rich people take cocaine, yes. And I do know them and some of them, but I still think they'd be better without, without cocaine. cocaine yeah. You know, that's just genuinely a vice. But if you go to a festival full of brokies, full of peasants and peons, full of people who don't try very hard at life and they sit there and they idolize these false idols given to them by the matrix and they stand in a crowd full of millions of other people like an insignificant peasant Rave. and jump up and down, wah, yeah. Diplo, wah, whoever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just complete peasant mindset. If you look at these people and say, do you like drugs? Guess what they say? I love it. Oh yeah. So, so I avoid, I don't want to go anywhere near the peasantry, right? Yeah. So, cause that's what it is. It's disgusting and it's, it's peasantry. So that's why I don't take drugs. And, uh, the reason I don't like vape is because I don't think that vape is even remotely natural because a tobacco is a plant. Okay, cool. But if you manage to put chemicals inside of a little container that tastes like blueberry ice, yeah. What even is blueberry ice? Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. It's not even a flavor. It's just, it, it's just words. Yeah. And and then you taste it and you go, that does taste like blueberry ice. Yeah. And how then they it, made it? How did they pull that off? Yeah. I, I can't believe it's possibly good for me. Add in the price that it cost. Add in the fact that it costs a dollar. Yeah. And comes deep from the heart of China. Like you're like, yeah. you think yeah. they give a shit no. about the West just puffing away on this <laughs> petrochemical? They don't care. They're happy. Yeah. So if you're gonna smoke, at yeah. least smoke something. You know, it was grown. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, the reason. The reason I smoke is not because I'm addicted, because I have an iron mind and I can blink and cure my brain and stop smoking completely. In fact, when I, there's certain places I go to in the world where I don't smoke for months at a time. I, I'm not addicted to anything. The yeah. reason I smoke is because nicotine is good for your testosterone level. Okay. That's the reason I smoke. I smoke because I like the drug of nicotine because nicotine is actually positive. The reason I drink coffee is not because I'm addicted because caffeine is a miracle drug. Yeah. Caffeine is, heart. caffeine's a miracle. Yeah. I drink coffee. endless coffee. And of course the matrix will come along and say, too much coffee is bad for you. Too much meat's bad for you. They say anything to make you weak and stupid. Yeah. Ca ca caffeine, people don't understand that coffee changed the world. Before coffee and caffeine, we were addicted, not addicted, we were living our lives in rhythm with the sun. We got up when the sun came up, we went down when the sun we came down. Go against with, we didn't go against it very much. With the industrial revolution and caffeine, the introduction of caffeine, we now had night shifts, we now had double shifts. Think about this. If a, if a job introduces a coffee break, if a company says, take, stop working and drink this coffee, that's because the coffee you have is worth the time they let you not work because you make up it's for it plus it's some. It's that's how powerful it is. And what's actually interesting about me is when I think back, my entire reality is caffeinated. I haven't been awake without caffeine in years. Yeah. I, I drink coffee every single day. So I thought about this and I thought, maybe life's better without caffeine. So I took a week off of coffee yeah. and there was zero up. advantage. I didn't sleep any better. Yeah. I felt pissed off. I didn't feel like I could focus as well. I was more tired, but I couldn't sleep any better. It was weird. I was just like, this isn't me. Now, obviously I'm still a hyper competitive individual. I still went to the gym. Of I course, still did yeah. my work. I'm still the top G, but I didn't feel as good. No benefits. There was no benefits. Yeah. So after a week I had a cup of coffee and it was like, the miracle is back. It's, <laughs> it's, it's develop a coffee addiction. It's fantastic. There's nothing bad about caffeine. I have 10 to 15 coffees a day, every single day. And I will do to the day I die. But, and so, so to, just to finish off for my vices, sure. I, coffee is not a vice. I want the caffeine. Smoking is not a vice. I want the nicotine. These are drugs that I believe are genuinely good for me.